in close up. Hi folks, it's Rich here. Just a quick update video on a few bits. If you want to join me for about six and a half minutes, I'll speak as quickly as I can. Number one, lessons. I've got another lesson booked this week. I've still got plenty of homework from the previous week. I mean, if you have a lesson one week after another, you can't possibly have learned everything and be able to do everything, but let's keep some momentum going. And I start my new job next week, so I'm not too sure when I'll be able to get my next lesson in. Speaking of jobs, I've finished my old job today. A little bit sad, mixed feelings, don't you, when you leave a job? Good bits, bad bits, but um, yeah, looking forward to starting my new one next week. Can we talk pianos quickly, whilst I've maybe still got your attention? We're looking for a white upright piano. It must be original white, not a, a different colour painted. A nice shiny white piano, ideally with some gold writing and not on the branding, some gold pedals. For the uh, lovely Sarah Jane, who's been enjoying learning piano on an electronic one, which has been great, but really fancies the real one. So if anyone's got one in the Peterborough area, it'd be good to hear from you. Talking of guitars, my white Jerry Donahue telly that I sent back, the one I got off the eBay, power sell on the eBay shop. I know we had a big conversation about buying things online, that's not about this right now, but uh, after he sent me an abusive message about returning it, uh, he's now tried to, <laughs> it was £250, he's taken £100 off the refund, saying that I scratched the back plate, and that's a specialist part and needs a specialist person to fit it. So, as you know, whenever I'm at home, I'm just always in my tracksuit bottoms anyway, so how on earth could I scratch that? I do look after things, so that's another thing. So I opened up a case with eBay and said, it's basically a lie. He's just bitter that I've sent it back. As you can see the email that he, the, the message that he sent me, it was abusive, which clearly shows what he's all about. And fair play to eBay, they've just a couple of hours later, yeah, fine, and the full refund has been issued. So his eBay handle is Stubbs56. Stubbs 56. So if you're thinking of buying something from Stubbs 56, I guess just beware. If for any reason you need to send that back, don't expect a good experience based on my experience. So yeah, Stubbs 56. Mm. Uh, talking of customer service, on the other end of the spectrum, the PRS has got a slightly bent uh, tone pot post and I contacted Peach and they said, oh, sorry about that. It probably happened in transit, which realistically, I don't think you couldn't have done it, it was so well packaged. So I think I just missed it on the QC, which happens to make this a bit unfortunate. It's only a, it's only a small thing, but fairly expensive guitar, for, certainly for me. So they said, we can either have it picked up and send you another one, which I don't really want to do, because I picked this one specifically for the figuring I like, I like this one, or send us a picture just so we can see what's what with it, and we can send you a new pot and 30 pounds towards uh, a tech fitting it for you, which is, is fair enough, isn't it? So the next time I go to Tom, I can do that. So yeah, I need to do that. So yeah, good on Beach for coming up trumps with the customer service like that. And talking of other guitars, what's we're at it, the classic vibe needs a trip to Tom as well. I can't intonate it with that old style bridge. The, I haven't, uh, now that I've had guitars go to Tom a bit on and off for a couple of years, I'm all too familiar with the idea of frets being leveled and it all being set up properly is a big difference. I mean, it's not awful, but it won't stay in tune and and it's not in tune. <laughs> Might stay in tune, it's not in tune to start with. <laughs> so it was good to go today, but we don't have time in the end. So Tom, Tom will have that. The tuners aren't, aren't very good either. And not the worst, but certainly not great. So Tom, pretty magical with his magical Tom fingers. So he might be able to take the bits and oil them and make them work better. I don't know. If not, maybe we'll replace them. So that's the classic vibe. Still love that guitar. The acoustic in the corner. Death, the fretboard desperately needs a drink. The frets need a polish. It's got the same strings on from when I bought it. They need replacing. I, it's got one ever so slightly sharp fret. I'd call it rough rather than sharp. So I think Tom may as well have that as well. The Jackson, which I really, really like. The neck on that's just lovely. And I think I mentioned before, especially when I had one last time around, the tuners on those really pr proper rubbish. <laughs> so Tom might be able to do some magic with them. If not, those tuners will be definitely replaced. They have a plastic nut on them, not necessarily a problem, lots of guitars do, but if Tom thinks it will help with the tuning stability, then maybe we'll replace that with a Graphitech nut or something like that. It's going to stay as a hardtail, by the way, and maybe in the future some EMGs or something like that. I've never had EMGs, just some sort of higher end, proper loud metal y pickups. So, yeah, that's Mr. Jackson. And Holly Benton, that's got the same strings on it from when Tom had it. A year and a half ago, naughty me. The fretboard needs a bit of a clean now as well. And 
Yes, the only thing on that, the neck pickup is dark and I've always thought maybe I should replace that with something else because it always is just a bit too dark. I usually change to a thinner pick or change the EQ, but actually if that's dark, the Jackson is louder and brighter, that's different. And I've got a humbuck on the neck here, but just maybe it's just a different sound. So it doesn't need replacing at all, it just stays as is. But there'll be no more guitars anytime soon. I'm happy with all this lot. I did think that I wanted a Strat at one point, even though it's not my favorite guitar type, but I don't feel like I need it now because this is giving me some Stratty tones in between sounds. The Jackson even on, on the middle position has got a nice sort of Stratish tone too. Um, so yeah, and I've got a single coil on my telly, which I love, I prefer that to a Strat. So I don't need one, so I'm, I'm good, I'm good. So I've had 20 guitars or 21 this year, that's it. So the next things for me will be drum kit and pick up a second-hand Elisis for about £200. So that will happen at some point. I'm probably going this space here and the guitars will go on the wall. And I also really fancy a couple of new amps, probably the Fender Mustang GT40, which I've mentioned before. I like the reviews on that and I like all the presets. Just press a button and sound like something else. You can fiddle with them if you want to, but it's just nice click. I'll sound like ZZ Top or U2 or I don't know, they've got various different sort of clone sounds. And I also fancy a sort of a high-end valve amp, a head and a cab this time. We've never done that before and having had a go on that Victory amp with the head and the cab, which was it's been amazing, it's made me fancy a head and a cab. Uh, the Victory would be nice, but in a second hand you're looking at 500 plus just for the head and then the cab, but it's just it's a lot of money. So I don't know how much I would... I would want to spend really, but definitely you know, more than I had before. The Harley Benton Tube 15 was perfectly good for what it was, but I just fancy the head cab and something a bit more, I don't know, fancy, fancy perhaps. And then my pedals, I'm mostly okay with my pedals. Hmm. Yeah, I might have a change at some point, but yeah, they're okay. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And uh, in terms of videos, I, I would like to say that I'll do keep doing a video after each uh, lesson that I'm having and stuff, but we'll, we'll see what happens over the coming weeks. I'm going to be away with my new job and be really busy doing things with that, so I might not get around to doing many videos anytime soon. So I'll keep you posted. And thanks for sticking with me if you have. Bye bye.